Hi guys, in this lecture, we will learn about data validation. What do I mean by data validation? Data validation is a process by which we control what are the types of data that can be entered into a particular cell. For example, here I have the quantity column. As a policy, I sell more than 5 units of any product. Let it be iPhone, let it be Mac, let it be iPad. I sell more than 5 units. So the minimum order quantity is 6 because I don't sell anything less than six if someone orders four units from me i don't sell them because i am in the wholesale business so how can i control the quantity column to only accept a value which is more than five this is where the data validation comes into play so what i will do i will select this cell the quantity cell then i will go into data and then i will click on data validation and here i will select the first option which says data validation now i get this window and right now it says any value that means this cell right now can accept any value any types of data it can accept text it can accept numbers it can accept any value right now what we are going to do is we are going to give a restriction to say that this cell should contain only numbers that also more than five if a number is five or less than five this cell shouldn't accept it so what we can do is we can click on the drop down and here we can select the whole number here we get another drop down and if you click on the drop down there are a list of options between not between equal to not equal to greater than and so on what i will do is i will select the option which says greater than and here i will say five because the minimum order quantity i sell is six units if someone types in five or less than five they should get an error message so i will say five and i will click on ok now say that someone enters four in this cell they will get an error message which says this value doesn't match the data validation restriction defined for this cell and maybe say if someone enters a text and if they click on enter again they get this error message and if they enter 5 error message if they enter 6 then there is no error message because that is the condition we gave to this cell that it should accept a value which is more than 5 we specified the data validation only to this cell there is no impact on the below cells so how can i select these cells also to apply the same data validation method what i can do is i can select the first cell in which the data validation is there and i can select all these cells up to which i need the data validation in this example Example, I will select until the 20th row and then again I will go into data validation click on data validation now Excel is asking the selection contains some cells without data validation settings do you want to extend data validation to these cells and if I click on yes and now again I get the same parameters greater than 5 we can just say ok over here and now the data validation has been applied from row number 2 till row number 20 we can test it out say suppose I type in here some text I get an error message I type in a value less than 6 I get an error message I go into D20 that is the 20th row and then I type in 1 I get an error message data validation is really handy when it comes to controlling the data types that can be entered by any user maybe say you are sharing this file with your colleague you don't want him or her to mess up with the sheet if you can place data validation controls then they will be able to work according to how you want in the next lecture we will learn some advanced features in data validation and hoping to see you soon in the very next lecture